Alright guys, I have no idea why I did not record an intro to this video, but I guess this will be the intro. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, go ahead and hit that sub button, like, comment, and share with your friends. Um, do not ask me how my apartment got this messy, this dirty. Just know your girl be on the go. Can we take a minute to admire my bag? She is eating the girls up, honey. But no, seriously. You guys all know that I part-time work and I am a college student, so it is rare that I have time to do just about anything at home. I also frequent my boyfriend's house a lot, so there's that. But I felt like showing my apartment some love today and just resetting for spring, so that is how this video came about. Okay, am I the only person that lets their laundry sit in the dryer for like 50,000 days until you have to wash and dry a new load and then you finally put it in the basket and then it sits in the basket for another 50,000 days until you need your basket so now you have to actually put those clothes up. That was exactly me today. Okay, I don't know how often anyone else cleans their cabinets, but if I don't wipe my cabinets, they leave this weird residue thing that you can tell I had like grease on my fingers or something when I opened them. So I like to get rid of that. All right, I'm obviously not going to advise you guys to clean your toilets bare hand. I just don't have any gloves and I wanted to clean my house. So do as you wish. I mean, you're at home, but I would recommend you guys wear some gloves because your toilet is disgusting.
if you are a content creator or you are in school and you find it super duper hard to keep up with your assignment, your schedule in general, where you need to be, I would recommend that you guys get one of these boards. They're literally like five to ten dollars at Walmart and they're little calendar boards that you can customize yourself. I I love mine. I'm not sponsored or anything. So I'm just recommending it because it allows me to write my goals on the side while also keep track of my day-to-day -day things that I have to do. Now, I will say the best way to use these calendar boards are to have a scheduler or a planner that you can go by so when you're writing it out you're not looking anywhere else you're just taking it straight from the planner and when you're using the planner you're taking it straight from wherever you're getting your schedule from i like to use a planner so i know what days i want to edit content post content when i need to film content what my content's going to be about when i need to check my analytics and also when i have tests due exams speeches, discussion posts, anything relevant to school. When planning my goals and my to-do list for the month, I try to set very realistic standards for myself, but also be challenging at the same time. I like to put down things that I know I can accomplish with a little more effort, rather than putting down things that I know will come to me anyways. My main goal for April is to finish strong in my spring semester and land a new job. I also would like a thousand subs on here, so if you guys are watching this, help me out. But the main thing I want to focus on is my education and landing a job. So I'll try to post on here as much, but if you guys see your girl is not checked in, that's the main reason. So on this particular day, I chose to do my daily devotional or my daily Bible verse at night because I found the times when I've done it at night, I find myself the most at peace versus when I try to do it in the morning when I'm just waking up and my mind's all discombobulated. So what I try to do in the morning is at least read the verse of the day and pray. But tonight felt a little different. It's the end of the month and it's also Easter and I just felt very in the spirit. 
all of my goals and to-dos I wrote down for this month, I wanted to pray over them with God and kind of just talk myself through them and figure out how I can achieve this through my prayer, through my worship, and what my other purposes are in life besides the goals and dreams I have for myself. If you guys are in need of a little meditation or just a little one-on-one time with God, I would recommend that you guys use the Bible app. When you guys are doing the daily devotional, you guys have a section where there's like a guided prayer. And if you turn on any type of sounds that calm you, ocean sounds, white noise, um, whatever calms you, rain, you can do any of those and just really connect with God and calm your spirits. It's so relaxing and it's the best way to go to bed. Thanks so much for watching my monthly reset video. I hope this inspired you guys to clean up, talk to God a little bit, plan your life out, set some goals, you know, take some baby steps towards becoming the person you want to become. Um, I plan to start, you know, altering my channel a little bit, altering the content. So if you start to see some changes, bear with your girl, bear with your girl. And remember, it's my channel and it's what I want to post. And if my spirit is what brought you here. Let my spirit be what keep you here. And yeah, thanks so much. Thanks for watching the channel. See y'all soon. <laughs>